In this video, we are going to review how is the gaming performance and how many percent of battery has been consumed after around 30 minutes of gaming. What's going on everyone? This is Sean from Sean Station Tech. You are watching my gaming and battery review of the Huawei P9. Let's get started. Before we start, I just would like to clarify that we are setting the phone to performance mode and auto brightness. Now we have 81% of battery, let's start with not so graphic intensive game, The Rayman Adventure. From the gameplay, as we can see, there is no issue, no lag, no frame skip. Everything is just perfect. I have completely no problem to play this game. After around 6 minutes, the battery has been reduced by 3%. Next, we go to Mortal Kombat. Again, there's no issue, no lag, no frame skip while playing this game. It is just perfect. After playing around 6 minutes, the battery has been reduced by 2%. Now, where the real test is just started, let's play as well. It. The experience is good, no lag, but with some minor frame skip, you will be not noticeable for most of the user unless you are really focusing on it. I have no problem with this. After playing the game for around 6 minutes, the battery has been reduced by another 3%. So in total, 8% has been consumed after playing the games for around 18 minutes. Let's move to even higher graphic intensive game, The Modern Combat 5. Just like the other flagship device, Unless you're using an iPhone, you will see some minor framescape while playing this game, but the experience is still good by far, I don't have a serious problem to play this game with this phone. After playing the Modern Combat 5 for around 6 minutes, the battery has been further reduced by 3%. Lastly, Nova 3. As we can see from the screen, the gameplay experience is good. I would say it performs similar when we are playing the Modern Combat 5. Everything is smooth with some minor frame skip and it meets my expectation towards this device. So, this is the result. 
The phone has consumed 14% of battery after around 30 minutes of gaming. In my opinion, Huawei P9 performs good in the test and it meets my expectation as a flagship device from Huawei. Of course, the performance might not as good as Galaxy S7, but you have to remember that it's around 500 ringgit more expensive device than the P9. What is your thought? That's all for the gaming and battery performance review. Like the video if you like it, dislike the video if you dislike it. You can leave your comments below to tell me your thoughts and your feedback is always welcome. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.